Hello and welcome back to Guilty Party. In the last episode, we uh, solved our first murder case. Jesus Christ, that got heavy towards the end. Heavy and somewhat comical, but geez, someone got crushed by a piano. But now we're, we're getting closer to uh, Mr. Valentine. I almost said Arthur Valentine for some reason. <laughs> Family guy. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to change characters. We're going to go back to the person that we started this series playing as, since we only have a, um, two more missions, two more cases left to go. You know, we'll go back to favorite character. I, I enjoyed playing as Butch and playing as Max, but, uh, you know, I I'm enjoying this. This is this has been a fun let's play. We're gonna go with Charlotte again. I'm ready. She's ready. We're going super sleuth, and we're going to the Zeppelin. Stand back. Here we go. Jeez, this looks like uh, <laughs> everything looks like really, really gritty and tough. <laughs> Get off this ship. Valentine is still aboard. You're not safe. Valentine's here? Yes. And this whole ship is dangerous. Valentine's got it loaded with some kind of gas. Helium? Hydrogen? Mustard? Man, I could use a bagel dog. No, it's bagel something dog. he concocted himself. He calls it love gas. Inhale too much of it and who knows what you might do. Love gas? Be serious. I am serious. Anyone who breathes it becomes extremely emotional and susceptible to suggestion. Imagine what, what was Kid Riddle doing there? Do with that. If he has his way, everyone will fall in love with Mr. Valentine, especially the Commodore. And if everyone loves Valentine, then no one will be able to stop him. We need to find Valentine before he releases the gas. Mom, can you take you somewhere safe? I think there's a hot air balloon we can use to escape. We'll try to find it. Wait, they couldn't just untie her? Let's do this! Kid Riddle to the rescue! Bagel dog, here I come. Okay, now I'm getting hungry the more I listen to this guy. You've made it to Mr. Valentine's own Zeppelin. But can you unmask the villain before it's too late? Nab him quickly or he'll release the love gas. We well, don't need to review the cooperative rules. So now Charlotte's back in the... Back in the lineup, or not in the lineup, she's now taking the reins again. Now we got the secret door. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. I remember my first playthrough of this. I actually came across a glitch where clues just stopped loading in this in this uh, game. Oh, Schmoot was in the room where the pretty smelling gas. All right. Made Schmoot lightheaded, it did. Okay. That didn't add anything. Find the differences. Uh. Okay, there's one more difference, isn't there? Oh god! Wow, okay. Maybe I should have... I should have been thinking a little bit better. I don't know why I was doing that. Oh my god, I, I, I'm, I'm literally the meme, it's the same picture. What am I supposed to be looking for? And it's probably such an obvious one that I'm like... Oh my god. If 
Find the differences. Turn the pages, yeah. Now what? Here we are. Would you like to change the difficulty? No, we're not going to change the difficulty. We're just going to go... Jeez, okay, we're not gonna run out of time here. We're just gonna continue going. You know what? I'm gonna try to... Secret door, no, that's not gonna do it. Okay, so we're gonna go just... Let's just go up. I don't even want to bother with, with another clue like that because I can't... Slide the tiles. You see, this is something I can do. Oh, God. Okay, I wasn't expecting an image of her. Oh God, did I screw this up? Yes, I did. Fuck. Okay. 21 turns left to go and uh, I've messed up on a couple of... Uh... Okay. Charlotte, you're gonna redeem yourself here. We go there finally a ripped piece of paper it reads good thing is long hair on would be okay jeez we got a lot of clues to come up with luckily we're gonna get a coin here and then fuck that clue okay what are we gonna do here give me this find the hidden evidence Pieces of an exploded gas container. There are burn marks all around. Floating well above the floor in a thick, rose-scented gas. Okay. Um... I think we'll play a savvy card. Uh, we'll use loose lips on uh, on her, so I don't have to do a mini game here. Ah, my head! I had something important to tell you, but now I can't remember what it was. Something about that smell. Stare eye to eye. Okay. Come on. Ugh. Nobody touches my nose. What's 
there behind you. No, 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 no. I can't line it up with your eyes. Oh, that cut it way too close. When we heard the explosion, the poet and I went in the room with all the gas. It was made me really dizzy. Okay. Didn't, but it didn't seem to bother him. Okay, 20 turns, and... We got... Okay. Um, t -t -t -t. Any clues up here? Oh, jeez. There are. As long with the columnist. What's the word? Shake away the debris. Can we do better this time around? There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. This is a box full of fireworks, bottle rockets, Roman candles, and sparklers. Some have been cut open. There is loose powder in the box. Okay. Is that what, I think it is? what are you doing up here with it? You're work for it. Stop hopping around, I'm giving you money. The director is famous for making his own cheap special effects with fireworks. Of course he burned himself. I was in the sick bay watching the nurse treat him when we heard the explosion. Okay. Um... What do we got for savvy cards? Uh, trapped secret door? We'll just move her in here. I'm enjoying myself ever so much. Okay. Bonjour, there are some Pin the suspect's thumb. Oh, she's a stewardess now. <laughs> Oh, that was actually pretty close. Good thing you're here, detective. Just a little while ago, there was a loud explosion somewhere up inside the airship, and now everything smells like roses. Okay. Um, we haven't gotten any real evidence about... Uh, oh, God. Because I was wasting so much time on a... Dark room now. Okay. Shout out. No, I'm not gonna bank four tokens. Don't I'm just gonna. What's in here? Put it back together. Oh god. One moment. How about this? Wait. One moment. What? One moment. You see, if it's not like, if it's not like, put it there, try it here. Oh dear. Does that work? Put it there. There we go. Shake it, Mama, shake it. Okay, this is half of a vertically torn page. It reads, "Foolish. Good thing is short. Have burned. Rip this." Okay. Um, we'll go up here. We got one more token, so hopefully... What's up? I what's, have some what's your problem, detective? Everyone here is dizzy or burned. That gas is harmless as long as you don't have... You don't mind a little dizziness. 
A complete devotion and a complete devotion to Mr. Valentine. Oh. Oh, just that. Okay. Uh, we'll bank our token. Okay, we're getting close. I know I wasted the early part of this episode screwing up because I don't. I, I suck at memorization. Okay, it's stolen. Stolen token. Um. Stand back. Let me out. Okay. Um. T -t -t Bye or whatever. Interest you know, Just to let me test your reflexes. Oh my God. This. What's up with his eye? Now that I think about it. Ugh. It takes up like a third of the screen. Oh my god. Okay, that's one. We got two more to do, I think. Okay. One more. Okay, it was four. Oh, come on! I was... Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. There. In fact, I did in fact treat someone on board for minor birds, but I can't... Birds. <laughs> I can't tell you anything about him. Patient confidentiality, you know. Yes, violation of his hippo rights. Lester Noogie. I wonder how he's he... What's shaking? What's shaking? Oh, I get to you play the saxophone again. Yay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Why? No, I haven't been treated for any burns. Why would you lie about that? Every Like, three other people said... Three other people said <laughs> that you were treated for minor burns. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, not a Mr. Valentine mission now. My wicked scheme is underway. My minions are now launching the love gas from the Zeppelin. You won't be able to shoot the crates out of the sky. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Launching fireworks to save the world. Shoot. Oh God. You guys got any more, please, for the love of God? Oh, we got it! And what the hell is that guy doing up there? Your savvy hand is full. Okay. So give me an extra token. Oh. We'll get rid of emergency call. And we'll... We'll use the bonus token. I was hoarding cards. Because <laughs> I was screwing up at the, at the earlier mission, but... Uh, let's go rendezvous with, um, this guy. What room do you want to meet? Uh, one with a lot of evidence. How about that? Here I go 
Man, there's gonna be a lot of uh, left in the editing because I screw. Because the first ten minutes of this episode was me trying to memorize uh, an image, and it's like I was screwing up big time. Check it, Flatfoot. I bought me a ticket. A candy wrapper? Really, dude? Oh my god. Hey! I don't see what all the fuss is about. So what if everyone falls in love with Mr. Valentine? <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. Five clues left. Grab the clues. <laughs> Um, ta -ta -tun. there we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, it's a ripped piece of paper. My hair short, a poet, a crime. So we got like a ripped piece of paper. Okay, the paper was torn in three, three places. So. Um, let's move up here. Hey, Schmoot. Investigate the drawer. So we're gonna pick the lock here. Beautiful job. This is one of Mr. Valentine's top hats. It is still warm from someone wearing it. Okay. Tear down the wallpaper. There we go. This is a half of a vertically torn page. It reads, Henchman, your hair, or it would as well note up. Okay, I mean, we gotta kind of put together everything, but I don't know. This room isn't dark yet, okay. Um, what do we got in the card hand here? Um, let's use whistle on this guy. Because I think he's gonna provide some a little more context Excuse me. Uh, perhaps you could impress me, and I will tell you what I know. Hmm? <laughs> Help clear the suspect's mind. There we go. To be clear to me that the culprit must have been working in the glass-filled room for some time, but wasn't too dizzy to finish the job. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm about to sneeze, aren't I? Oh god. I feel like I'm... <laughs> so really, the last clue... Oh god. Oh, thank God. Which suspect is the culprit? <laughs> I'll have this solved in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Let's use hunch. What's this bit of clue? Uh, 
So I don't have to do memorization, thank God. A narrow space between... Yes, that was needed. Okay. So someone was thin. Still warm. Okay. Picked up his scent. Lightheaded, ripped piece of paper. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing, henchman. Wasn't too dizzy. Oh God. Um, it made me dizzy, but it doesn't seem to bother him. So, Oh god, I'm trying to think now. Unwell. Maybe I should write you a prescription for some get I'm a doctor. I help people, not on them. Prove it's me Francis McCreary, it's obvious. I didn't know it wasn't her. <gasps> oh god. Short. Man, what was in the man? Oh God, what proved that he was a guy? Burn marks all around. Rip piece of paper. I think it was her. You don't need to be a doctor to know that's wrong. Damn it. Okay, that clue it. <laughs> don't see what all the fuss is about. No, no, I clicked the wrong... Wait, that actually worked? Oh. Oh. That was eliminating tall suspects. Oh my god. Oh. I think we got him. Oh my god. That actually worked. Ooh. Excellent diagnosis, but... How do you know the guilty party isn't him? Because he has an alibi. He has an alibi. <sighs> Excellent diagnosis, but how do you know the guilty party isn't her? <gasps> oh. I know. <laughs> okay, I should stop. The columnist is innocent. She was in sick bay, wasn't she? <gasps> yeah. Everybody's got alibis. Whew. And a nurse. Ooh. Excellent diagnosis, but Oh, How we did it! Oh. Isn't him. oh Somehow fought my way through sneezing bouts through this episode and got my way through to to doing this. Oh my god. Thank God. Love gas plot, Dr. Harvest. Or should we call you Valentine? Valentine? I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm good, but I'm not that good. 
I was a young internist when I first met Mr. Valentine. He... Well, let's just say he wanted to advance the cause of medical science. Mr. Valentine's donations have advanced the cause of medicine for years. To say nothing of my own career. So it is Francis McCreary. Like, look at him. Zeppelin, Until he ages. I, questions. I just got a bunch from the lab. What kind of doctor are you exactly? I don't believe in labels. That's why I quit med school. Ooh, boy. Mom, what are you doing here? It's not safe. You can say that again. Hey, he's got his hat at least. Ew, it's you! I don't know why I said you. Oh my god. Looks like someone forgot to turn off the gas. Grandma, how did you and Hugh escape? I cut us free with this. I found it in the hangar. Get us back to Dickens Manor, Hugh. We've got a dinner date with Mr. Valentine. And we got one more mission. Marvelous. Yeah, excellent case solved. Yeah, I know. I, I struggle on the mini games there, but yeah. What are you going to do? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Nice try, Mr. Valentine. Okay. Well, anyway, that'll do it for this part of Guilty Party. And coming up next will be the finale. We'll, we'll, where we will confront Mr. Valentine once and for all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.